and the taking of land, property, and businesses from black families. Many of these proceedings were initiated by the California Department of State Parks, Caltrans, the Attorney General, and other local and state entities under the false pretense of bettering the lives of Californians. We know some of the state and local entities that took property and land from black families, far too many black families to speak to individually here today. But what, are the other, but what of the other organizations that assisted in taking wealth from black families, not only here, but throughout the United States, many organizations had a permeating influence in many black communities, gaining trust, taking property, deeds, and securing others' wealth for their own. The local Sacramento chapter of the NAACP drafted a will and became the conservators of that will just a few weeks prior to the death of my great grandfather, Pearlie Monroe in 1963. While he lay dying in a nursing facility, the NAACP drafted Curley's will, taking $125,000 and approximately 150 acres of land, homes, a blacksmith shop, <clears throat> and orchards. And they later sold that state, and they later sold that property to the state of California and private white owners. Property and land valued at $7 million in today's market. Glad they didn't know he had land in Sacramento and Sparks, Nevada as well. Proceeds from the sale of that property went to the New York chapter of the NAACP, as well as at $125,000. Nothing staying here in California to help black families, nor any black family as far as I can ascertain. What the NAACP did do is set up an educational fund for several white children in the community surrounding Coloma. Names attached to children that upon research did not exist. When we call on organizations to assist in this fight, those that will justly push for change, advocate for legis legislation and political representation to undo the harms wielded upon black Americans. We cannot have a seat for organizations like the NAACP that have historically underrepresented black communities. I'm so sorry to, to cut you off in the middle of your statement, but feel free to come back tomorrow or submit your